And tonight, city leaders are weighing in on the mayor's pick for the city's new top cop. CBS 2's Andrew Ramos talked with some of them. Now, since the beginning, Mayor Brandon Johnson has said he wanted to fill in the role of superintendent with a veteran of the Chicago Police Department. Now, with the selection of Chief Larry Snelling, he did just that. With nearly 30 years with the department, Chief Snelling brings in experience that aldermen who I spoke to say will be vital in moving the city forward. Mayor Brandon Johnson's pick for next Chicago Police Superintendent, Larry Snelling. Is no stranger to Chicago. He's a Southside native and he also spent a bulk of his career as an instructor with the CPD Training Academy. He's had an opportunity to know a lot of the candidates and they know him and so they know the person that is going to be leading them. Alderman Chris Taliaferro agrees that the selection of Chief Snelling is an opportunity for the department to lift up morale with one of their own at the helm. He can hit the ground running. Uh, he doesn't have to find out where Madison or State Street is or, um, you know, any of our other city um, streets within the city. This community meeting from 2020 following a rash of shootings offers a glimpse into his approach of working together. Is the community going to step up? Because I guarantee you this, on my end, I'm going to make sure that we step up. And we'll work with anybody, anybody. I think a outsider would have been catastrophic, so this was 100% the right move to make. While it appears Snelling does have plenty of support, it's not necessarily a slam dunk just yet. The chief still needs to get the thumbs up by the full city council, and before that happens, Chief Snelling is expected to present himself in a public forum before the Committee of Police and Fire. A date on that still not set. Now, Mayor Johnson will officially introduce Chief Snelling as his selection for superintendent at a press conference set for Monday morning. Reporting from outside CPD headquarters, I'm Andrew Ramos, CBS2 News. All right, Andrew, thank you. Alderman Taliaferro, we should point out, is the chairman of the City Council's Police and Fire Committee, which must first approve the mayor's pick before it goes to the full City Council. And that committee isn't scheduled to meet at this point until September 8th. The ACLU